We also have new developments tonight about the WSU student who was found dead in his dorm room back in January. Just a few hours ago, the fraternity that that student was a member of released a statement. Graham 2's Amanda Rowley went to Pullman today to gather more details. She is joining us live tonight with what we have learned today. Amanda? Well, at the time of Luke Tyler's death, he was a resident here at this WSU residence hall. Now, while there are still many questions surrounding the circumstances of his death, we do know WSU police are investigating. Meantime, the Pullman Police Department's investigation is focused on the circumstances outside of the WSU campus. Limited information is available regarding the death of WSU freshman Luke Tyler as it is an active investigation, but here's what we know so far. The Whitman County Coroner confirms Luke died by suicide. The release also says the combined effects of alcohol and antidepressants found in his system caused his death. We learned today that medication was in fact prescribed to Luke. Following this update from the coroner, Luke's family shared a statement which says he told close friends that he was at his breaking point due to hazing at Theta Chi. Luke's family says they are eager to learn the truth about his experience. This afternoon, WSU fraternity Theta Chi issued its own statement. It confirmed Luke was initiated as a member in October last year. They offer condolences to his family and are expecting all its members to cooperate with the investigation into Luke's death. In an obituary posted online, Luke's family describe him as an avid athlete with a thirst for adventure. He also spent summers teaching kids how to sail at Sail Sandpoint, lifeguarding and crabbing in the San Juans. His family says Luke was studying kinesiology at WSU with dreams of becoming a physical therapist. Now, a celebration of life for Luke Tyler will be held next month in Kirkland. That service will also be live streamed for those who cannot attend in person. We have all that information linked to our website, creme.com. Reporting in Pullman, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.